Goldilocks and the Three Bears In a dense forest, there lived in a little cottage the family of Father Bear, Mother Bear and Baby Bear. What a pretty cottage it was, with bright yellow curtains, a pretty red rug and lovely flowers growing outside. Now the Bear family loved porridge, and Mama Bear made it every day. Mama Bear, is the porridge ready? Oh yes, I'm just bringing it to the table. Ah, that smells nice, but I think the porridge is very hot. I will certainly burn my tongue if I eat it now. What shall we do now? I know, it's such a beautiful day. Let us go for a walk. And when we return, the porridge should have cooled down by then. Come on, baby bear, put on your mittens and bonnet. We're going for a walk. Oh, I love to go for walks. Maybe I will find some honey to lick. Wait for me, Papa and Mama. I'm just coming. Yes, darling, we are waiting. Make it quick. And so the bear family went out into the forest for a walk. Now on the edge of the forest there lived a young girl who had beautiful long golden hair and everyone called her Goldilocks. She loved to spend her time with the little animals in the forest, the birds and butterflies and the tall green trees and colourful flowers all around. One morning she got ready as usual to go out. Mother, I'm going for a walk in the forest. Oh, Goldilocks, see if you can find some berries there. I was thinking of making a nice berry pie for dinner tonight. But don't go too far, dear. I've heard there are some bears living in the forest. Ooh, berry pie. I just love it. I know a place where there are some sweet blue berries growing. It is not too far, so don't worry, Mother. I'll be back soon. So Goldilocks set off towards the forest. How she loved to go there. The flowers, the little rabbits, and all the colourful butterflies. They all made Goldilocks so happy. I think I will take some of these pretty pink flowers for Mother. I know she will love them. They will look so pretty on the table. La 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 la. I wonder where my friends are. The little bunnies that go hop hop hop. Naughty monkeys that suddenly from trees drop. Beautiful butterflies flitting from flower to flower. And then flying far, far, far. All my little friends. I can't see any of them today. So looking for the rabbits and the beautiful butterflies, Goldilocks kept going farther and farther into the forest. After walking for some time, Goldilocks thought she was lost. Where am I? I seem to have come very far, and I promised Mama that I would not. Oh, I am so tired. Suddenly, Goldilocks saw something a little ahead. What is this? A cottage in the middle of the forest? Whose can it be? Thank you. 
Goldilocks went near and peeped through the window, but could see no one. I wonder if I could rest here for a few minutes. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Oh, the door is open. Slowly, Goldilocks pushed open the door, looked around, and then went into the cottage. This is indeed a very lovely cottage. Ah, I smell something very nice, and I am suddenly feeling very hungry. There, on the table, Goldilocks saw three bowls that had porridge in them. This is a nice big bowl. I will have the porridge from this one. Oh, it is so hot. I think I have burned my tongue. <laughs> After a few minutes, Goldilocks tried the porridge in the second bowl. This is too cold. It is not tasting nice. Then she went to the last bowl, which was the smallest. I like this porridge. I hope no one will mind my having it. I am so hungry. That was so yummy. After finishing off all the porridge in the small bowl, Goldilocks started to feel drowsy. I think I will rest here for some time and then go home. Oh, this chair is too big. It is not at all comfortable. So saying, she went to the next chair, which was Mother Bear's chair, but found that chair too big also. I think the small chair should be fine. But as Goldilocks sat down on Baby Bear's chair, the chair broke and she fell down. Ouch, that hurt. And the chair is broken. Oh, I hope the owner will not be very angry. Goldilocks tried her best to put the chair back together again, but couldn't do so. I have been a bad girl today. I promised Mama that I will not go far, and I did. Now I have eaten someone's porridge and broken their chair. Goldilocks was feeling very, very sorry for being a naughty child. She decided that she would wait for a while till the owner came back so that she could say sorry to him. I do hope the owners of this cottage will be kind and forgive me. I really did not mean to eat his porridge and break his chair. Goldilocks went to the window to see if anyone was around, but she could see no one. Oh, I will wait for a few minutes more only. Otherwise it will become dark and I won't be able to find my way back home. Oh, Mama is going to be so angry with me. Goldilocks looked around for some place where she could wait and wandered into the next room where there were three beds. I am so tired and the beds look so inviting. I'll just rest here for a few minutes. She went to the largest bed and lay down. This bed is so hard. I don't think I will be comfortable here. Goldilocks got out of Father Bear's bed and went to Mother Bear's bed. This bed is too soft. I will just sink into it. Let me try the last bed. Goldilocks then went to Baby Bear's bed. Ah, this is so comfortable and nice. I will lie down for just a few minutes and then go back home. I will have to go and say sorry to Mama also for being so late. Though Goldilocks thought of resting for a few minutes only, she was so tired that she soon fell fast asleep. Soon after, the three bears came back from their walk. I'm hungry now after the long walk, and the porridge must have cooled by now. What's this? Someone has been having my porridge. Someone has been having my porridge too. Oh, someone has finished all my porridge. What will I eat now? Now, now, baby, don't worry. I will give you some more. But who could have come here? No one ever comes so deep into the forest. <laughs> someone has been sitting on my chair. 
Mother Bear and Baby Bear hurry to look at their chairs. I think someone has been sitting on my chair too. Oh, Mama and Papa, look! Someone has broken my chair! <laughs> Who could it be? Let's look around and see if there's someone in our house. They all go to the next room. I see someone has been sleeping on my bed. And someone has been sleeping on my bed too. Oh, look, Mama, Papa, there's someone sleeping on my bed. I'm sure this is a bad who ate my porridge and broke my chair. Come on, Papa, punish, punish. The loud sounds of Baby Bear made Goldilocks wake up with a start, and she got the fright of her life. She jumped out of bed, ran to the open window, jumped out and ran away as fast as her little legs could carry her. Oh, the poor thing. We really scared her. She ate my porridge. She broke my chair. She is horrible. Oh, come on, baby. You can always get more porridge and a new chair. But that poor little thing got so scared. I don't think we'll ever see her again. Goldilocks did not stop running till she reached her house. She had never imagined that the cottage where she decided to rest belonged to bears. Mother! Mother! What is the matter, my dear? You are so late and I was so worried. Why are you panting like this? Oh, Mama, I saw some bears in the forest and I was so scared that I just ran and ran. I dropped all the berries I had collected and even some pretty flowers I had picked for you. Oh, my child. Promise me you will never go so far again. I promise, Mother. I will never do it again. Now go wash your hands and have your dinner, and then go right up to bed. You've had a nasty fright, but a good night's sleep will make you feel better. I will never ever disobey my mother again. I am lucky that I managed to escape just in time. Of course, Goldilocks didn't know that the bears were very friendly and would not have harmed her. But she did learn a very good lesson that day, didn't she? But as he plucked the rose, a horrible-looking beast dressed in royal finery glared at him from behind the bush with eyes blazing. You're an ungrateful man! 